Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, we are going to see a very easy way to solve this radical equation. This solution is going to begin with two very simple substitutions. We are going to call this quantity, that is the square root of 2x squared minus 7x plus 1, u. And we are going to call this quantity v. Now with these two substitutions, you can see that the original equation is now u minus v is equal to 1. So, u minus v is equal to 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will find u squared. And of course, you know that when we square this quantity, the square is going to take care of the square root. And we have 2x squared minus 7x plus 1. In the same way, v squared is going to be equal to 2x squared minus 9x plus 4. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will subtract this second equation, that is v squared, from u squared, the first equation. So here we have minus. Now, 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. Minus 7x minus minus 9x that is minus 7x minus minus 9x is simply minus 7x plus 9x and of course this is equal to 2x so here we have plus 2x and 1 minus 4 of course is equal to minus 3 so from here we have that u squared minus v squared is equal to 2x minus 3. But notice that on the left hand side of this equation, we have the difference minus of two squares. And remember that the difference of two squares can be factorized as u minus v multiplied by u plus v. So we now have that u minus v times u plus v is equal to 2x minus 3. So this is equal to 2x minus 3. But now remember that from the original equation, we have that u minus v is equal to 1. So that means that this is equal to 1. And of course, you know that when a quantity is multiplied by 1, it remains the same. So simply we have that u plus v is equal to 2x minus 3. So we have u plus v is equal to 2x minus 3. Now here we have u minus v is equal to this and u plus v is equal to that. Notice that if we add these two equations, we will be able to eliminate v. Because of course minus v plus v is equal to 0. So when we do that, we have that 2u, u plus u is 2u, is equal to 1 plus 2x minus 3. That is 2x plus 1 minus 3, which is equal to 2x minus 2. So now we have that 2u is equal to 2x minus 2. But remember that this is u. So what we have is that 2 times the square root of 2x squared minus 7x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 2. And of course, now we can square both sides of this equation. So we have this squared is equal to this squared. 2 squared is 4. The square is going to take care of this square root, leaving us with 2 x squared minus 7x plus 1. Now, on the right-hand side of this equation, we have 2x squared. That is 4x squared. We have 2 times 2x times minus 2. And of course, that is minus 8x. Then we have minus 2 squared, which is plus 4. Now, we can divide both sides of this equation by 4. And when we do that, we have that 2x squared minus 7x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 
x plus 1. And of course, collecting like terms, we have 2x squared minus x squared minus 7x plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Minus 7x plus 2x is minus 5x. 1 minus 1 is 0, and this is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this. We have a common factor, which is x. So we have x. x squared divided by x is x. Minus 5x divided by x is minus 5, and this is equal to 0. And of course, you know that from here, we have that either x is equal to 0. So we have x equal to 0, or x minus 5 is equal to 0. And when we add 5 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 5 x is also equal to 0. So now we have two values of x that apparently satisfy the original equation. Now let us make sure that these two values satisfy the original equation. When we substitute 5 for x in the original equation, we have the square root of 5 squared is 25 times 2, 50. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1 minus. Here we also have 50. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 4. 50 minus 35 is 15 plus 1, 16. So this is the square root of 16 minus. 50 minus 45 is 5 plus 4, 9. So this is the square root of 9. The square root of 16 is 4. And the square root of 9 is 3. And 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Which is what we have on the right hand side. So this value of x satisfies the original equation. Now when we substitute x equal to 0 into the original equation. We have the square root of 0, 0, 1 minus the square root of 0, 0, 4. Now the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 4 is 2. And 1 minus 2 is minus 1. But what we have on the right hand side is 1. So that means that this second value of x is an extraneous solution. It doesn't satisfy the original equation. So the only value of x that satisfies this original radical equation is x equal to 5. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.